All right. So I'm going to do a bike check. Seems like it's the thing to do. So I'm going to do it. Meta 4.2 all mountain. Uh, bought the bike maybe a little over a year ago, about a year ago. Got about, uh, I think, 1,100 miles on it. It has been an absolute dream. Uh, there's really nothing that I don't like about the bike. Uh, ride bike on a lot of trails, a lot of trail riding and park riding. It's been phenomenal. Um, so let's talk about the bike a little bit. Uh, stem. I cracked the Alpha Ride stem probably due to me over tightening it. Uh, but I got home from a ride at Killington, was cleaning up the bike, noticed a little crack in it. Uh, I emailed them a picture and I said, hey, any chance you guys could warranty this? Two weeks later, I had a new stem. In the meantime, though, I ordered a race face, uh, threw that on. It's the same, so it's a race face. Uh, Alpha Ride Guide Z. So, right out of the box, uh, I had some problems with the rear brake. Uh, first thing was is the brakes were flipped, European thing. Uh, so flipped the brakes back around to the right way. Uh, brake lever action. So I'm on my bike point to be out real far. Otherwise, I'm going to be squishing my knuckle. Um, I bled that brake, rode with it for about maybe two, three months, finally gave up and said I'm just going to go with a Shimano brake. Uh, bought the Z, put it on. It's been mint. Uh, love it. 170 mils up front, 160 in the rear. Race face chase uh, Chester pedals. Um, down to protector. Uh, riding at Killington, coming down some of the work roads. Uh, a lot of rocks pinging up, hitting my down tube, and usually bouncing off and hitting me in the shin. Um, stuck the tires on there. And one of the things that it does is it deflects, uh, I think really because of the tread pattern, deflects those rocks back down towards the ground. I don't think I've gotten uh, hit in the shin since putting this on. This probably will come off uh, because I probably won't be riding this bike at the park nearly as much. Um, SRAM uh, GX setup. Uh, for the shifters, I've always been a Shimano shifter guy, uh, but I have to say that it, uh, once getting used to the, the SRAM shifter, I like it even more. Um, Rockshop Reverb, uh, I've had some problems with it, pretty minor. Um, it seemed like for a few weeks there, after just about every ride, I had to bleed it uh, to get the action um, as fast as I wanted it to be. Um, it's been pretty solid now for two or three weeks though, so knock on wood, I'm good there. Uh, it did freeze on me one day. I was riding in extremely cold weather and basically uh, the seat froze in a down position. Um, can't blame it for that. Uh, this is my second bike belt. This one is kind of a piece of crap. Uh, I really liked the first one. I like riding with a bike belt. I use them all the time. Uh, this one I don't like so much. The other one broke in a crash. I wish I had been able to find the same one. Uh, stuck with the 180 rotor in the back. Um, once I put the Z on, I no problems braking. Uh, never had any problems really overheating once that was on. I did have some overheat problems with the guide on there uh, originally, which was really one of the deciding factors. Maxxis front and rear, uh, they've been awesome, you know, Maxxis, they're awesome. About 8 pounds pressure up front and I forget what's in the rear, I'm running two tokens back here and three up front. I, I have to say that I've been happy with the tokens, I'm actually was considering adding another token to the rear. Uh, volume reducer, um, but because I won't be riding this at the park as much, I probably will not. Uh, the bike is, is it handles great. Um, 
I'm not a climber, so I can't say that it climbs great, but I've definitely uh, gotten up some, some good stiff climbs. Uh, well, a couple of short stiff climbs, let's say. But I, I don't really find it an issue. Uh, I have set the bike up a lot with the idea of it being a, a dual downhill and trail bike. I've certainly geared it more towards that downhill aspect, which I'll probably be cutting back on a little bit. Maybe go to a smaller tire in the rear, uh, you know, removing the extra weight, things like that. I, the latest thing that I've added is the phone case, the uh, quad lock system. I have not used it yet, but I do do an awful lot of riding on trails that I don't know, so having trail forks open to kind of tell me where I'm at would be a lot nicer than having to stop, you know, every five or ten minutes or whatever it is, pull out the phone. So I'm hoping that this will be a good location for me. One of the things I uh, am really concerned about is because it is my phone crashing and destroying my phone. I probably won't ride with it all the time, but where I'm out on new trails and I tend to be taking a little bit easier anyway, uh, I think it should be a good addition. Fender with the GoPro, uh, you know, it's it's made a big difference on the amount of mud and crap that gets in up onto the camera. It's not perfect, of course, but definitely helps. Tubeless front and rear. Uh, <laughs> all the time getting that rear tire back on. Uh, I've I've done it a couple times now, and just that it's always a struggle. Uh, different tire on there, struggled, but get it on anyway. The uh, crank arms, I have the crank boots on there. I like those. I do pedal strike um, quite a bit. It, it's not it's not awful, uh, but I've definitely learned to ratchet pedal a lot more, um, but I, I definitely do pedal strike. And even then, I really wouldn't Mm, wouldn't make it a complaint. Overall, I've been just phenomenally thrilled with this bike. So if you're thinking about getting one, I would highly recommend it. I am not a, you know, I don't go out and do bike reviews, but I will say that their service has been stellar. You know, I've called with questions and had great conversations uh, with guys that are riders not just some guy answering the phone that's reading off a script, but somebody that can actually talk riding with you. Uh, so that's that's pretty nice. I had a uh, first time at the bike park. I did have um, some issues with the bolts loosening for the suspension. Not really a big deal. Tighten them up. Uh, I think I finally took them out, cleaned them, retightened them with a torque wrench to spec, and they've been solid ever since. I think that I want to say that that happened maybe two or three times, um, and then just taking them all the way out, cleaning them up, new Loctite, throwing them back in there, and good to go. So that's my bike check. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear some more comments, get some more comments. I do try and reply to everybody as it's it's a small group of people, so it's not too difficult. I think that's it. Like, please, subscribe. I need more subscribers, would love that. And uh, hit me up, we'll go for a ride sometime.